You're listening to the What's Up Falcons podcast with Rock Hoop Q, Aries Falcon, and keeping it sexy, LG. What's up? What's up? What's up? And welcome to the What's Up Falcons podcast. Yeah, we're back, baby. I know it's been a minute, but I'm back and I'm your boy Rock in the house. And I'm joined with my boy Hoop in the house. What's going on, Hoop? much how are your fellas doing trying to survive man we're still here trying yeah. to avoid that delta at all cost yes, sir <laughs> all right man and we're also joined with from all the way over on the west coast with the notorious vid maker with his new headset mr aries falcon what's up aries oh man yeah man. everything is it's, it's cool it's chilling <laughs> i'm good Part <laughs> part taken. Hey, Pop it's, kid, legal. it's legal. <laughs> it's legal. Oh, right. Yeah, it is legal. It's legal out here. <laughs> He's just I can I can walk across the street. <laughs> and look at him. He just he just 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 putting it in our faces. Just blowing. <laughs> Sound like you're gonna be floating mm. across the street. <laughs> I'm I'm dead ass serious. I can walk across the street, right across the street, and walk into a shop. Yeah, I know, man. By the gum gum drops and and peach rings and <laughs> everything. I hear you, man. I hear you. We still gotta be on the down low over here, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> but we get them. We definitely get them. But uh, all right, man. And um, Q is supposed to be joining us, but uh, he may have. Uh, some prior engagements, but hopefully he will check us out. And uh, I want to thank y'all for checking us out. We are still here. I know we haven't done anything in a while, but you know, it's hard out here. Life happens, but we're back and we're getting pumped. We know it's that time. We only have a few days left for our first preseason game. Football is back, baby. So yeah, we are here and we're going to be coming back every week with our updates. And all that fun stuff we've been doing for years. You know what I'm saying? So don't forget to check us out on Twitter at, at What's Up Falcons. And you can send us a text at 770-268-0555. And check us out exclusively on Armchair All-Americans podcast. And also, if you have an Echo device, you can check us out there. Just tell her. Say, hey, play the What's, What's Up Falcons podcast. And she will play it. Or Google Home. Or Google Google Home too. That's right. I have a Google Home right here next to me, and it's, it, it it'll play it as well. And I think Siri will too. So we're everywhere, man. We're everywhere, and we're on. Definitely check us out on YouTube. This this season, we're going to start uh, doing more our shows on YouTube as well as the audio version. So you might check out both because you get to see our faces or our pretty uh, illustrated avatars that we have now. Very yeah. lifelike. Very, very lifelike. So, uh, yeah, to- <laughs> almost lifelike. <laughs> here, <clears throat> yep. trying to get this YouTube game going on here. So, uh, all right, fellas, before we start, man, how y'all been, man? We haven't talked in a while. How y- y'all, y'all doing okay? Everything good? Yeah, trying to stay cool, yeah. man. It's so hot. It is hot. It is hot. Oh man, yeah, I'm telling you, this heat is killing me out here, man. I know, man. Y'all don't. Aries, man, you are right, man. It seems like every time I turn on the news, y'all are burning down or some shit's crazy out there in, in, the, in the West Coast, man. What's Definitely happening? Definitely burning down. Definitely burning down. Man, it's some forest fires. Though. You know what I'm saying? People driving by and tossing their cigarettes out the window. You know? I thought it was lightning, too, man. It was climate change, man. All that lightning starting fires, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's crazy, man. See, out here, we get that dry heat, so where it's just hot. Y'all have that humidity. That's true, but y'all hit some record temperatures, man. Like in the hundreds, right? Like a couple yeah. weeks ago. I know it was in Seattle area, but I, I thought it was the entire West Coast that had like a heat wave a few weeks ago. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's it just getting really hot. And then, I mean, even even where I live, like right near the beach, it, it, it's tough. So it still hits. Like high eighties, mid nineties out here. So, oh, I mean, that's like here though. <laughs> but we we're getting a lot of wet weather, man. It won't stop them raining and save my life, pissing me off, man. I can't finish. My oh day. man, I like the rain. 
I like I the rain. My pool, man, when it's raining all the time. I've been working on that bitch all year. No, that's how to suck. Yeah. When, uh, when are you when are you expecting to have it up? Uh well, our new goal is what's the next holiday? Is it Labor Day or Memorial? It's Labor Day. Arbor Day. No, I thought it was it's either Labor, Labor Day or Memorial Day. Day. Which one have we had already? Ooh. Well, you way off. It's Labor Day. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's one of those damn days. Yeah, we're, that's our new goal, Labor Day, man. Okay. We're almost there. We're almost there. I think the biggest part is we're building this big ass fucking humongous ass deck around it, which wasn't planned. So that's taking a little time. That's and all to y'all handy Dan brothers, because I damn sure ain't building a deck. <laughs> we, we hired a contractor to Okay, all right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but he's doing it by himself, but you know. All right, that's gonna take him six months. He's almost done, man. He's almost done. <laughs> <laughs> it's already taking him right, like two months already, but he's almost done. All he has to do is tile it now. So, But it'll look great once it's done. I'll send you fellas pictures. Yeah. But uh, All right, man. So, uh, well, let's jump into it, man. You know, we haven't been, we haven't done a show. Usually we do training camp, little spurts, but, you know, just hadn't gotten around to it. So uh, I figured this show, we just, you know, catch up on anything we've heard about training camp. Oh, let me start. <laughs> <laughs> and we talk about, you know, all the, the latest happenings, and then we get into maybe a schedule rundown, and then we can talk about Friday's game. So, uh, all right. All right, man. So this is our post-Julio season show, man. This is our first season without Julio. Who? Who? Yeah. <laughs> there was who? Back, who? Who? <laughs> Yeah, don't go that far now. Come yeah. on. The Come dude, on. That dude with the hey, Waffle hey, House. I, I, I got these autographed Julio gloves, man. You want them? I'll take I don't them. want them. Yes. <laughs> I'll yes. Take them. I would like a Hall of Famer <laughs> sign glove. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I'll take them. <laughs> but now nah, I hear you, man. Hey, man, you know, it was real with Julio. You know, we can't keep the man here. Even though it was ugly at the end, you know. He's gone. He's the past. So he's the enemy now as far as teams go. But, you know, we still remember everything Julio do, did for us. So can't hate on that. But we can be mad. But uh, all right, fellas. Well, let's talk about this training camp, man. We, 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 we'll set off with training camp. You know, it's already started. And uh, there's been some, you know, I haven't really been following it as closely you know, I don't know about what you guys, but uh, from what I've heard so far, just from watching stuff and listening to the radio reports and stuff, it seems to be uh, everyone seems optimistic. What do you think, Aries? What have you heard about the training camp? Um, well, I mean, I've, I've got my friend who's really in, into Atlanta football, so he's been telling me that um, that defense is they pulling stunts and they they getting they getting the mat and they just all over the field. Uh, mm -hmm. Isaiah. Isaiah picked off Matt twice. Was he trying to get the damn highlight reel? <laughs> stuff now, that he's going to do before the season starts. And then, from what I'm hearing, Sheffield is having problems. He might not even make the team. Uh, really? So, but but Isaiah Oliver is shining. So, I mean, <sighs> hey, we'll he's probably time. finally coming to his own in year what three, four. So. <laughs> Let's be contract year. Let me look this up. <laughs> Probably. Probably. <laughs> I hey man, but Isaiah, I don't care what he's doing in, in in camp. Unless that translate to the season. Boy, that so I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. He's he's working on that highlight reel is what he's doing, trying to pick off Matt. He's gonna pick hey, off I'm... Matt, pick out other quarterbacks, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, so I, hey, I'm, 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 I'm gonna hold my judgment until you know what I'm saying. This season, the season gets underway. I see him two or three weeks down the line and, and see how how he's doing on defense. So, right. you know, be a good sight to see. Indeed, indeed. What about you, Hoop? You uh, heard anything about training camp? You can speak on. I have not been following that closely. The thing that I kept just getting uh, swamped about is. When Pitts made that catch where he hit the hop in the air and concentrated as he fell to the ground, I literally saw that catch like 20 times. And that 
that day. I mean, you know, rookie making his, uh, you know, I guess uh, plays during the training camps. Guard's going to make a big, big deal. But uh, one other thing I did see is Dante Fowler just got off the, like, the COVID list. I was like, the dude's been on the COVID list since like last year. <laughs> Man, hopefully he can get out there and, uh, you know, because I, I think we paid him a pretty good penny. So Yeah, he needs to get out there and earn, earn some of that cash he's been taking from us. Yeah, exactly. so, so that's uh, something that kind of raised my eyes. And uh, I hear that Ridley's talking uh, big time mess. You know, he's talking about he's going to put up them game, the video game numbers. So, all right. We'll like to see it. We'll like to see that. I'm looking forward to that too. Just don't be that cute, really. Just stop being cute, man. You can do it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah. He he says he he's he's uh, he's willing to fill the void of being the number one. So that means you got to get hit. <laughs> you can't be afraid to get hit. Really, you got to take those blows, man. Sometimes you saw what Julio did. You got to do that, man. And if he does that, I'll take him to the next level. Yeah, but Julio was a beast. He was he was on a whole other level. So I, I doubt you know we'll see him. Imitate Julio, but I mean, I know he has that speed. He has that one cut speed, so you know what I'm saying he can s- separate from just about any DB out there. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we might not need him to get a hundred catches. I mean, we got two tight ends that are, I mean, I still like Hurst too now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh, now. Yeah. I mean, I mean, like I said, I wanted I wanted Hurst when he came out, so mm-hmm. to have him now is just great. I, I want Hurst too. But um, you know, I'm 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 definitely my eyes are focused on Pitt. You know, he's supposed to come out of the gate, man. You know, ready to go. And um, no, you're right. There yeah. was there were there wasn't much uh, uh project development tags on him. He was like the most yeah. plug and play guy available, according to the experts. Exactly, man. So I'm ex- I'm really focusing on him. Hurst, if he can, you know, especially step it up. He had a great season last season, but uh, with those two together, man, I think it's going to be a definitely a great, cool step for Matt and, uh, you know, for this season. So hopefully that, that'll that be a great thing we'll see this season. And um, as, as far as our running backs, man, I mean, hmm, you know. Glad you brought that up. <laughs> well, what do you got on that? Well, I uh, keep seeing – References to how big Mike Davis's thighs are. <laughs> you know, the, you know like how to do it, like Saquon Barkley. Like, oh, look at his. You know, they'll like have a picture of him running. They just got like the, yeah. you know, that right little frame to show like the muscles and all that stuff. So same thing with Mike Davis. Uh, right. He. I mean, the job is his. I think. I mean, it's yeah. He he shows up. He gets the bulk of the carries, and you know, hopefully he can do better than oh, Ty Group. <laughs> hey, Looking forward man. to that. Yeah. yeah. Who? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> uh, man, it happened so fast. Good gracious, little man. man. We got a lot of. I, 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 hey, I, I'm not mistaken, but wasn't you that said Todd Gurley was going to ball out? <laughs> uh oh. He's already. No, no, no. Y'all, no, y'all no, call it, me out about tech. So, I mean, no, 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 I mean no, no, no. it's only fair. It's only <laughs> no. fair. That's true. I, I stood on it last year. But what I was vindicated on, and this was actually on, this was tape. You, I don't know if it was Rock or Q, told me that Gurley was not going to have like five touches. It was just something just outlandish. I mean, because the dude had like the first five games. I don't know if y'all remember, the dude had like 300 yards. You know, he was. Yeah, like, but I mean. He was clicking. I, so yeah, I was but, vindicated in my. But didn't I say as the season goes on, those knees weren't going to hold up? You know, I might not have disagreed with you on that, but uh, I did oh, hit my mark. Okay. okay. I did okay. hit my mark. All I know is is I was I was it was a Negro Damas about him totally. So, you know. <laughs> you know, and uh, at least my guy's on uh the roster all year. So, you know, anyway, <laughs> we can keep on going. Hey, you, my guy was on the roster for a whole three years. So I mean <laughs> <laughs> you know, I if we like, hold that. <laughs> well, hold on now. We're not going to brush over the fact that this dude was like a top ten draft pick that was a total bust. We're not going to act like put in work like Ty Gurley in the league. So well, let's let's just stop it. Let's get on t- with these running backs. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> oh wow. Oh, we got Cordell Patterson. 
man. Man, he's going to be slept on. I don't know if y'all watched that dude. Uh, well, of course, y'all watched him last year when uh, he came down with uh, Chicago. Was that Chicago last year? Yeah, Chicago. Yeah. Dude's a receiver. Man, He they get, they're giving that dude the ball at the backfield. Man, he is strong. Uh, That's a nice weapon to have. Yeah. No, I agree. And uh, Quentin Odelson, or the uh, draft pick from a few years ago, I, I think I think this is going to be his year to really show what he got. All right. All right. Well, let's move up. Well, we already talked a little bit about the wide receiver core that we have now, but uh, outside of Ridley, man, I'm hearing Gage is is, is coming along uh, in in practice, man. Um, as a as a as a decent number two, man. He's talking big talk. I've heard. Yeah. And then we have uh, what, uh, Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus. Yeah. That yeah, boy quit. So, and then we have uh, what? Tashay, what's it? Tashay Sharp, whatever. Sharp and Frank Darby. Yeah. So you know we got it. We, we I still think we have a good wide receiving core. Definitely, we'll 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 see. You know, but without the year without Julio. The, you know, the new general is Ridley, so we'll see how that works out. And um, we already talked about our tight ends. What about that O line? You know, um, we got a new. I heard, I heard that O line. I heard that O line holding, holding tight. But I mean, it, it is just, just practice. So you know, we'll we'll see against against the Titans. Caleb McGarry's back. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So we got we Matthews, got we have Listrum, we have McGarry, and then we have a battle at center with Hennessy or uh, what's it, Dolman, Drew Dolman. Right now, hey, Hennessy better be Stark. Did we? <laughs> <laughs> did we uh, get a nice uh, use a nice pick for him? <laughs> we did, but you know, I hear Dolman's doing some good stuff. So I mean, Com- he probably competition. You no, know, make yeah. something good, I guess. Exactly. It'll probably probably be Hennessy starting, but I think Dolman would definitely see some snaps. So, so hopefully we have addressed that O line issue. But we, like I said, we'll have to just wait and see. And uh, and moving on to the defensive side of the ball, off the bat, Dean Pease is still impressing people. You know, he already has a great resume as a, a defensive. Um, coach, so um, you know, and so everything I've heard coming out of camp, you know, it's 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 good. So I don't know if you guys heard anything, or just overall about our uh, defensive coordinator. Nope. Oh yeah, I know you were hyped on him, uh, definitely, Aries. Oh yeah, Dean, Dean Pease is the real deal. Like I said, um, this defense is doing stuff that I, I've. Haven't seen them doing do before, from what I hear, and um, I've watched a couple on their their Instagram account. Yeah, you know, uh, something, you know, a few things on Twitter. So, okay, defense defense looks looks decent, but I mean, after all, it is it is practice, so right. can't really be too judgmental on that. Yeah, it is practice, and you know, it's our defense is we're like one of the worst. Rank defenses in the league, especially last year. So we're gonna have to just wait and see. But I, you know, I, I'm looking forward to it. I'm not gonna get all excited, but I'm looking forward to it. And you know, we definitely have Grady still here on that D line and uh, the cast of other characters. But uh, uh, well, I'm waiting on Marlon Davidson to play some meaningful snaps, man. I've been talking yeah. about that dude for two years now. Let's yeah. go! Come on! Exactly. This this will be yeah his third season, right? Uh, yeah. two, right? Yeah, season two. Yeah. Like, oh, two. Like okay. COVID list. Yeah, right season two. Come yeah. Down or? yeah. Well, you know, we'll, we're just gonna have to wait and see. I mean, I don't want to get excited because we always do this shit every year. <laughs> you know, we get excited from training camp, and then we think we're gonna get there, and then we just have to prove it. But I'm more optimistic because of the whole coaching staff. DQ and his nonsense gone. Offensive coordinators gone. Although um, our our head coach, I heard that he's going to step in this first season as the OC. Mike Smith. It's not Mike Smith. Um, what's his name? Arthur Smith. Arthur Smith. 
he's we do have an offensive coordinator, but I think uh, he's going to do it first. He's going to do it first. He's going to be our head coach and offensive coordinator, and we've heard we've seen that before. So, um, well, we saw that the opposite yeah. way. Sorry. Yeah, I mean, and he's he, he'll he'll run strictly the offense. He'll he'll deal with the offense. He does. He's not. You know what I'm saying he's not handling any 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 other aspects of the, of the you know what I'm saying uh, of the team. So I think he'll handle it pretty good since I mean he did run the offense in t- 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 Tennessee, right? So that's true. That's true. That's true. I just you know, it, but the only thing that makes me nervous is you know first time head coach, and like I said, we we've been through that before. So, but I so like you, so so you're wondering wondering about. All the food he has on his plate is, is going to be able to. Yeah, we read this book before. You know that. So. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, DQ is another story. That is true. That is true. That's something. Yeah. You know, you know, so I mean, now he's he's in Dallas, so he's he he, 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 he has a Dallas Falcons over there. So, yeah. You know. Definitely. Yeah, we'll talk about him a little more later when we get our predictions in. But, yeah, you are correct, sir. All right. Well, you know, so far, good. This is – I think this is do or die for Matt, definitely. Um, I think I think Matt is hyped. I think Matt is ready. And I, hopefully it's the same Matt that we saw when Shanahan was here, when he was really challenging him and – Matt was doing the, the 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 deep training and stuff. I think he's back to that level since Julio gave up on him, and a lot of the fan base hate you know are are, are riding him and stuff. So I think this is definitely prove it a prove it year for Matt. And um, you know, he's our only quarterback because our backups is garbage. So we're done if he goes down. But we've been very lucky with him. Do you guys still um, believe in Matt? Yeah, I mean, shit, I just bought his jersey, so I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm done with I'm done with Matty X. Yeah, I am too. I'm definitely still down with Matt, and I I need to get his jersey too, Aries. I was going to get it because you know I'm like, damn, I got this Julio jersey, and I don't want to. I mean, I'll probably still wear the Julio, but I mean, not as much as as I. Would wear my Dion and Matt, so right because I was trying to think of anybody else that I wanted, and I mean, Grady's good, but I yeah, I plan I'm... to get his too. I plan to get his too eventually. And uh, I went on their website the other day to see if they had any deals on, on Matt's shirt. The one that you got was a little pricey, but they had, I guess, the previous uh jersey of his when they had the, so, the regular so parts. I mean, I, I... I mean, wasn't that expensive? Uh, it was 120 Yeah. I mean, it's not that expensive, but the other one was under 100 so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's the knockoff one. Yeah. Hey, I got the, I spent the real deal on Julio. So, I mean, I might, I'm, I might still do that. I might still do that. But, uh, all right, man. Well, uh, like I said, I'm excited. We're starting it up, man. You know, they're in camp. Everything is getting real. We've heard all the rumors and everything. Oh, speaking of, of which, um, there was a big, was there a big uh, movement from a former player that we didn't talk about? I thought there was something, but maybe not. Mm-hmm. I mean, it might have been, I thought it might have been that uh, Devante stuff, but yeah, that's not important. But all right, well, y'all want to move on to the schedule? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll go through the schedule, man. We got coming up since it's uh, a week away from preseason, and then four weeks from the prime time. And uh, here, I'll pull it up so we can go through the schedule. Uh, you, you mean you mean three weeks from prime time because there's three only weeks. three pieces. Yes, yeah, three pieces preseason games this year. That is right. That is right. Thank you, sir. That is totally right. I forgot they shortened it. All right. All right, man. So here we go. Let's talk about this schedule. All right. First up, we have the Eagles at home. What do you think, Hoop? At home, dub. Dub? Dub. I agree. That's a dub. I'm not a I'm not a 
I'm not so on Jalen Hurts. Yeah. All right, all right. That's cool. That's cool. I'm going to go. I'll go with a dub. I'll go with a dub. I'll go with a dub. All right, and then after the Eagles, since we got the Bucks again, it's not the same Bucks. It's the new Bucks. It's the Brady Bucks, man. And we're going down there in that heat. And those boys are on a roll now. They're the Super Bowl champs. And their baseball team's doing good. And <laughs> it's hot down there in Tampa. What do y'all think? Yeah, I don't know how, how a hockey team wins, wins the cup. So I don't know. <laughs> In Tampa Bay, I don't, I don't know. So, what do you think? You think uh, we can beat the uh, Mr. Brady and crew? Mm, yep. No. Oh, Aries has as the win. What about you? I think we can beat them. No, I think <laughs> I think they, they're going to get they're going to get cocky and and all that other good stuff and and think. They can't, you know what I'm saying, do it. So, you know, I think, think you know, we're, we're going to be a cakewalk. But I think this defense is going to surprise a lot of people. Okay, okay. Wow, cool. He was I'm too gonna... early in Arthur's career. Yeah. I now, that's... Smart. now, later in the year, you no, know, I'm going to give it to the Falcons, but not that early. Right. And I think I'm going to agree with you, Hoop. I'm just early, early at the bat. I mean, we got to see what Arthur's going to do, but I don't think uh, I'm looking at an L on that. But not as an, an embarrassing L. But, uh, mm-hmm. Competitive. Definitely. Yeah, a competitive L. All right, and after that, we go up north to the Giants. Aries, what are you thinking? Blowout. <laughs> For real? All right. Yeah. All right. What do you got on a who? You said Giants? Mm-hmm. Oh, Dub City. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, I'm really not sure, but um it the ones that seem easy for us in the past always end up being the ones that we blow easily. But uh I think it's gonna be a battle, but um I think we'll we'll win that. All right, did yeah, I know. I, Go ahead. Yeah, I know we win that. I know we win that. Oh, okay. Aries is, a sh- is sure that we will win that. All right, then week four, we have Washington at home. Dub. Mm. Oh, for real, man. They ain't got no Ooh. name yet. <laughs> oh. Now, I think I think the Redskins are going to give us more problem than the Giants. Hmm. But because... because because their defense is st- is stout, right? They have the best defense in that conference, hands down. Right. I hear you, man. Um. Okay. Okay. I still think we will we'll win that. You know, with the old riverboat run, and uh, but I think I think I think we'll win that. Hey, hey, man! Don't forget, they do have um. <laughs> Fitzpatrick as a QB. Too. Yes, that's true. Fitz magic, and uh, yep. right, he's put that magic on his heart <laughs> in the past. So, but uh, but I, I'll give that a win as well. Though, still, even with Fitz magic, it's going to be earned. It's going to be hard fought. But you know, all right, we go to week five, man, and uh, it's with the, we stand up north with the Jets. Oh, uh, well, we're going back up north. I'm sorry. What are you thinking, Aries, with the Jets? They have that new quarterback, the one I, the one I wanted, Wilson. Oh yeah, they have Wilson up there. So I don't, I don't know. If if they have some weapons, it, it could be a decent, a decent uh, game. But I think, I, th- I think they do it. Okay, so I'm gonna call you? that a dub. So I'm gonna call that a dub. All right. What about you, who? I believe we can win that game. You do. Mm-hmm. I think the same. Um, you know, they're like I said, they they've gotten a new quarterback. They're doing some transition stuff, so that might have a good opportunity for us to win to pull that out. So I'm definitely going to win with that. 
And moving along, man, we have a bye week, week six. But then after that, we go down south again to the Dolphins. Oh, wait a minute. That Jets game is in London. Oh, whoa, whoa. That's right. Yep, yes, yep. Yeah, that Jet really game wonderful. is in London. That's right. Because because it's just for the bye. To yeah. give them two weeks of rest. Yep. Yeah. All right. But, I mean, I still think we pull it off in Jalio, England. Uh, I don't know. Because they've always... I mean, we were supposed to beat that Detroit game in London, too, so... We were. We were. But, uh... There's a new sheriff in town, so. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, it's, it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be a hard a hard one to judge right there. Yeah, but you know I'm giving it more because they have a new quarterback. But um, you know it's in London. Everybody's yeah. gonna be jet lagged. You know, so. There are definitely some things that'll make it interesting. But uh, all right, after that bye, we go to the Dolphins. Um. What do you what do you think in hoop what against the, the Miami Dolphins? My at Miami uh mm-hmm. L because I, I didn't pick like five in a row. We ain't that damn good. Right. Let <laughs> 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 me be realistic here. <laughs> hmm. Against the Dolphins. Yeah. They just got that new receiver in the drafts, right? Mm-hmm, they his, got, old, his, his old teammate from Alabama. And they didn't they get our guy that I wanted in the uh, from the draft? Um, their their number one pick was uh, what's his name? Uh, was it Kyle? No, um, what was his name? It was the guy that I wanted out of our draft. Uh, yeah, it was it was a quarterback out of Alabama. I mean, not a quarterback, but but the receiver out of Alabama. It was. I thought it was all right. But what do you think? Win, win or loss? Uh, I'm gonna take that L. But I, I mean, there's always an, it was, it was always, because I mean they also have a young a, a young QB. Defense is decent. Offensive line might, might need a little help. So I'm going. I'm gonna take that L too because I'm gonna take that L. But I think they can pull it out. All right, I'm gonna take that L because we've lost to them a lot lately. <laughs> At, I mean, I'm only saying it because because they they're, they're gonna. Ha- I'm only saying this because they're gonna have two weeks off from the Jets game, so they they can plan more f- for the Dolphins. Right, oh, I hear that. That's that's interesting. So, but uh, I'm I'm well, like I said, we we've, we've lost to them a lot. In the last few years, so uh, I'm going to take. I don't see that changing right now, unless um, depends on how the season starts. But um, all right, moving along. Week eight, back home, we have the Panthers win. Win. (laughs) Who? Win. Yeah, yeah. Definitely win. It depends on how Darnold adjusts. Right. Coming to Carolina, so you know we'll we'll have a good four weeks to to, to see how he's he's he, you know what I'm saying he's been he, he's been rolling good right. four or five weeks under his belt. So you know it might change, but I, I, I I'm going to say a win right now. Yeah, I'm definitely going to say a win. I don't trust Donald. So um... no, oh no, I trust Donald. He's a Trojan, so I trust Donald. <laughs> it's just it's just how how well he adjusts t- to the offense. Okay. I mean, he's got Christian McCaffrey. He's got a cu- couple yeah. of good receivers. They've got, you know, what I'm saying that that corner they drafted. So mm-hmm. they improved that defense tremendously. So I mean, the Panthers might be an issue, but we'll see. It, it all gonna is gonna hum down to Darnold. Okay. All right. All right. Moving along. Week nine. We go back down to Stinky Town. See those ants down there, at Stinky Town, and they're having some issues down there. So uh... come on, we got we got crab legs <laughs> and the Swiss Army knife with no Michael Thomas. Yeah, that's a that, that's a dub. <laughs> oh man, well we don't know if it's no Michael Thomas yet, but you know, but... no, he's he, he's going in for s- s- surgery. Oh, he's not going to be playing at all. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's going in for surgery, so he's gonna he's gonna miss at least I think he said six to eight weeks. Six to eight weeks. Okay. All right. Uh, loss. 
I don't know if y'all heard Jameis Winston talk this year, but man, that's a change man. I'll, I'll have to send you the interview. That man's using all proper no, English. I, I, I've seen the interview. 20 pounds. I've seen the interview. <laughs> He's using proper English. He's like, yes. Um, as a matter of fact, you have to look at the double coverage. I'm like, what? What? Is that James? James, stop it. We know where you're from. <laughs> you know, the interview voice. <laughs> exactly. He, you know he, he's really been are. hanging around Drew, Drew B's a little too much, thinking he knows everything all of a sudden. So yeah, that's that's exactly. a dub. He's gonna he's gonna be cocky and confident, a little dink and dunk. He's gonna dink and dunk, and then try to air it out, say about mid second quarter, and get picked off again. <laughs> so yeah, all I know is all of you know with AJ and Isaiah out there, he'll be you know you know so he'll get picked. Isaiah better pick that one. He picking Matt. He better pick that one. But uh, uh, yeah, the first meeting, I think we may we may uh, we may pull a dub out. No, I said we sweep them. Said, oh. I said we sweep them. I'm calling that now. I said I said we sweep sweep them. Ain'ts. <laughs> Aries calls for the sweep. I don't know, man. They come. They you know, they, they rise to the occasion. But um, I'm not gonna say sweep. Sure it's do. Yeah. All right, moving along. It's a uh, rivalry, so you know, you know, what I'm saying, always expected. Exactly. Week ten, man. Uh, we go out to Dallas to see those cowgirls. Those cow. We get to face DQ and get our revenge on that crap, that loser. So uh, <laughs> we better win. Is all I'm saying. After what I'm calling <laughs> Dub off that bullshit last year with the onside kick, man. That exactly. shit really. Exactly. That shit busted me to this day. Yeah. Oh, so so just, just be, be prepared for them to run that about six times during that game. <laughs> exactly. Well, I hope I hope the special team coach does his job. In they're gonna run. They're gonna run that play line. at least six to ten times on the jumbotron, so the team sees it. Yep. <laughs> all game long, and then the announcers are, are gonna. Oh, let's take a look back at what happened last year. <laughs> So I was so watching that game in a bar mm-hmm. in oh South my Carolina, God. and it I like somebody threw something hard against the wall. Like I was at a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> you was at a bar, something hard hit the wall. Yeah, that was a glass. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe this shit. <laughs> yeah, man, just for that, just for that to get back at DQ for not having his guys prepared for an onside kick. And we know DQ's defense, so we ain't have anything to worry about with their defense, Cowboys defense. So that I was really um, that was really a win, man. You know, we don't, you know, you can do don't, all don't, for, don't forget the, they he has Neil and KZ. Like I said, that's a win. <laughs> <laughs> How do we let KZ go? Let me talk about that later. I, yeah. They have yeah, DQ. He's got, he's got Neil and KZ over there, so yeah, and they have DQ as their defensive coordinator. <laughs> Point for see, but <laughs> but that's all he has to focus on. He doesn't have to focus on the offense and the special teams. Just just the defense. So I mean, he's a great defensive mind. Just wasn't head coach material, not yet anyway. It was it was his first head coaching job. Same with Pete Carroll. Pete Carroll first head coaching job, he f- fell face first in the mud. Yeah, but he got so, up and won a Super Bowl. <laughs> this <clears> no, he he left. He left. He yeah. left. Went to went to college and then came back to the pros. So, so he didn't do that. He went to another pro team. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but we'll see. But I, I'm I'm calling that a dub. Are we all calling that dub? Yeah, I'm I'm calling that a dub. I mean, I, I I just I, we got to win that. Yeah, we got yeah, it. It's just, yeah, got you. Yeah. Yeah. If we can c- contain Dak and Zeke, then we, then we should be good. Right. Contain the Ewok. <laughs> he, <Ewok>. um, <laughs> he, looks like an, he looks like an Ewok. He does, man. I'm dark funny. fucking eyes. Yeah. <laughs> he looks them like dark him. lips. Them dark lips and all that oh, hair yeah, around know, his face. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know he smoked. Yeah. Good gracious. Oh, night. yeah. <laughs> He does look like he looks like an Ewok and one of those dwarfs from Lord of the Rings or whatever. Man, <laughs> it's like he put both of those together. You gotta, yeah. He's a damn Ewok. But uh, all right, week eleven, man. We're back at the bins and we got the Patriots, man. We got old Belichick and uh, is it Cam? Cam. 
Cam. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cam. <laughs> Cam. <laughs> Cam for me. Uh, I think we'll get our revenge, man. We need to get a revenge, man. The Patriots. I don't care if they don't have Brady or whatever. We still got to get our revenge against that team in Belichick. So we got to win that one too. And they don't have that many great players anymore. Yeah. yeah, it wouldn't. It wouldn't. It wouldn't feel the same. We can blow them out twenty-eight to three, and it still wouldn't wouldn't f- f- feel the same. You know, oh, it would feel the same to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna celebrate. I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine if we beat them twenty-eight to three? Oh man, I would love it. Love oh, it. that would be awesome, man. That would be awesome. All right, so. Um, What'd you say? Because <laughs> now when when they holler twenty eight to three, I'll be like, "Which one are you talking about?" <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Which one? Which one? And you know they'll give us crap. Oh, you know, East Coast Joe only did it because he didn't have Brady anymore. He didn't win a Super Bowl, so what? Don't matter. Exactly. exactly. You, you know we hear that, but whatever. Uh, all right. Did everybody go? Yeah. All right. No, uh, it was lost for me, but. I'm just saying that because I got to keep my record up, like right above 500. It's a letdown game. <laughs> is it? Wow. It's a trap game. Is, is is what you're saying? I believe so. Yeah, because you got your eyes all big. You got uh, uh, sunshine coming the next week. Yeah. You know, we're like, oh, we got two easy weeks. I mean, that's a letdown. And I think we jump on uh, sunshine the next week. Who's sunshine? Oh, Trevor Lawrence. Yeah, yeah, man. yeah. Week yeah, twelve. Trouble, trouble. That's gonna be the problem right there. I tell you that right now. Yep, week twelve, and it's gonna be in Jacksonville. Jacksonville, Jacksonville. Now, being this far into the season, like I said, it would ha- I would have to make a a better judgment on how their season is going and what I've seen him do on the field. I can't really call it. This is just a guess, right. but I think we take I think we take a L. Right, but like I said, I'm a, we can come back and visit it again. But right now, I see I see that as an L, especially in Jacksonville. Mm. What about you, Hoop? You think uh, we, we win can... that one? Okay, I'm with you on that. I'm, I'm okay. gonna but uh, I see what uh, they're just saying. It's yeah, the rookie quarterbacks hard to project, and we always have. Issues with rookie quarterbacks. So I know we make them look like pro bowlers. I know exactly, but hopefully that has changed. Hopefully that's the past. You know, although the quarterback we did make look like a pro bowler, he actually was a pro bowler. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was. You know, the rookie MVP. So you know, what I'm saying he was the rig- offensive rookie of the year. You know, like like I said, he was. But you know, nobody listens to me. <laughs> All right, moving along. Uh, <laughs> week 13. We're back. <laughs> we're back home, man. We're back home, and we're facing Brady again, man. Uh, Aries, I know you already said that uh, you think we're going to – well, no, that was that was uh, the Saints. What do you think about the Bucks again? Me? Uh oh. Yeah, I you know I I'm I'm gonna have to call this. I'm gonna I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to t- t- take the L on this one. All right, all right. What about you, Hoop? I'm going opposite. I'm going because I don't want to just get swept because I already took had Buccaneers winning the first one. So. Right. Uh, I think we win this one. Uh, I'll go ahead and vote for Q and say Buccaneers win. <laughs> no, no, no. You vote for Q and say Tom Brady wins. Oh uh, yeah, let, yeah. I definitely <laughs> would have to correct that. Dude, Tom Brady can name five other people on that team. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say that this could be a possible win for the Falcons, but it depends on the first game and how they play. But I think at this point, if we haven't got our mojo together, it would definitely be a loss. But I think if we're running steady. Yeah, that's and and that's also something else that's got to take take into consideration on how the team's running, you know, injuries and things like that. So you know, it's hard to judge this this far down into the season. Right, right. All right, moving along. Week fourteen. Uh, 
We have we're back at the Panthers. I think we're gonna sweep the Panthers. That's just me. Hoop, what do you Same think? With me. Same with you. What Same. Same. With you? Same. 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 All right. And uh after that, week 15, we're going back to the West Coast with the 49ers. L. At 49ers, L, yep. L. Yep. Oh, no, them boys, is, is it what, 12 o'clock game? No, 4 o'clock. Okay, never mind. Yeah, well, four, still, hey, L. Um, just, just so you know, they won They won the last time they put the nine. You know what I'm saying, Niners? Yeah. 2021, but... L. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But I feel you, though. I hear you. I hear what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Depending depending on how COVID hits, I might be at that game. So, okay, a work. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm th- I'm still I'm still contemplating uh, on going to that game. I've, I've got a buddy that's willing to sell me a pair of tickets. So, well, you need to be sending us some updates while you're there, brother. Yeah. So, um, all right. Well, I'm thinking Four Down is definitely they're in, they're going to be in the hunt to revisit Super Bowl again, or at least go deep in the playoffs. So. Um, it's going to be a hard one, and uh, like I said before, L. All right, moving along. Week 16, day after Christmas. We got dub. the Lions. <laughs> dub. Aries goes yeah. dub. Who yeah. goes dub? Wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm not afraid of no Lions, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I don't want to be a left out Larry, so I'm definitely going dub as well. All right, week 17. Dub. <laughs> we got, I don't oh know no! no uh, we, I don't uh, know about that. We, it's the Aints. We ain't messed with Josh Allen. No, it's week seventeen. Is the Bills. No, no Bills. Oh, the bi- look up, look up, brother. Wait, wait a minute. At the Bills too. Sorry. Yeah, week seventeen. In, the Bills. in January. Oh, oh, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm thinking, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to take that L. <laughs> yeah, I'll I, I, I take that L. Take that the, L. The Bills, the Bills are a fiery team. They are. Looking, they might make a good a, a good run this year too. So, yeah, exactly. They had an impressive last year. So. Oh yeah, L here too. So, uh, all right, moving along. After that game, we have the Aints again. <sighs> that's that's, that's what I was hollering Dub about. Oh okay. <laughs> yeah, Dub for me. We'll be wrapping up season. You know, looking for our uh, first round bye. Yeah. Playoffs, yeah. Now you know only oh, one team gets, gets the first round. Be the yeah, yeah. You, you know one team, one, only <laughs> one team gets the first card. round by. Hold on now. <laughs> right. I'm I'm talking out of turn here. Yes, we'll be in the wild card, hosting a game, oh, home. Man. Yeah. All right, all right. Well, interesting. I didn't keep track of of who of what we That's had. Right. I think well, we got 17 games this year. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, like I said, um, nine and eight. You are nine and eight. Hmm. Ten and maybe ten, seven ten at best. May, yeah, yeah, maybe ten seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, ten, ten, seven at at, at best. Uh, yeah, nine. Yeah, the worst is, I would say, eight nine. Eight and nine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> eight nine. Eight, nine. That's about right. I think most people are kind of predicting that those around those numbers too. I mean, and and it, it may seem bad, but compare it from last last season, mm-hmm. it's an improvement. Yeah. So Anything. people have to people have to take that as a consideration. We only won four games last year. Yeah. Definitely. So it's, it will be a mass improvement. Yeah. Anything anything above four wins is an improvement. So it's gonna get get you looking to the following year. To make that really big jump into the playoffs, no, that's what I'm hoping. Anyway, I think I think after this year, I think they go on a, a nice, good run, and they could end up twelve and five next season. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. It's hard to make these predictions, man. Based off since, I mean, I know a lot of people saying that it's not a rebuild, but it's. You might as well say it's a new team, and it's a this new is team. going, and, and, and this is all going off of what's on paper. Because I mean, none of us have seen anybody on the field yet. So on 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 paper, this seems like a decent team. They could make a nice run, right? You know, no, that's true. That's true. We, you know, we 
every all the signs are pointing towards it will be a nice run, you know. But um, you know, I guess we've been burnt so many times in the past that you know it's hard to Yeah. Expect know. the worst, hope for the best. Exactly. Exactly. All right, man. And what do you guys think? Let us know. Hit us up on Twitter. What do y'all think the Fox is gonna go this year, man? You think they're gonna go all the way to the playoffs, wild card? Uh, just let us know. Hit us up at What's Up Falcons or send us a text at 770-268-055. Super Bowl Productions Atlanta against the Tennessee Titans. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> you that this weekend, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely, definitely. But uh, all right, fellas, oh, move it along. Let's uh let's go around the league real fast, man, and uh, see what if there's anything happening that you guys may know of, and uh, let's see what's happening around the league. So, um, I, go I heard, I heard that the Vikings cut their first round pick due to domestic abuse charges. Oh wow! Oh, wow, who was that? Was the player's name? I not yeah, I did not uh, hear that. Um, let me. Look it up real quick. Give me a second. Go for it. Go for it. And um, and also, you know, um, while he's looking that up, what's it looking like for Deshaun? I heard he was out there throwing the ball. But I'm glad, I'm glad you brought that up because I'm very interested on how that goes. I was really expecting him to not be like even allowed on the premises, you know, based on like. Three months ago, right. with all these allegations coming towards him. But uh, from what I know, there's no criminal charges. And, you know, these are just like civil things going on. So, like uh, like you said, they are bringing he, he was allowed to practice, I think, this week. Right. I, don't, I don't know if it's uh, if it's happened yet, but I don't know. I mean, you got to keep in mind, uh, he had like a great year last year. You know, I know a lot of. Everybody talks about Aaron Rodgers with his super duper stats, but <laughs> you take a look at Deshaun Watson, man. He had a, he had a great year, you know, st- statistically. Right. Did and he wants out anyway, right? Uh, um. Well, you know, you get you get a uh, your number one weapon gets traded, mm-hmm. and he gets traded for a beat up running back, and then JJ Watt goes. And you know, it's like, well, what, what are we doing here? <laughs> you know, this is before all the rub, rub and tug, <laughs> rubby, tucky, fucky, fucky, bang, bang, and a pushy, digits, digits, <laughs> and you know, <clears throat> digits, right, can you digits, and official. Um, <laughs> yeah, we can hear you. <laughs> we can hear you, Aries. Okay, uh, Minnesota Vikings cornerback Jeff. Gladney was indicted Tuesday by Texas grand jury for felony assault of a woman he is previously in a relationship with, and the team quickly moved to release him. So he was their first round pick last year. Oh, last year. Wow. Last year. wow. Okay. Pretty big hole, man. Yeah. Yeah. They didn't hesitate and they cut him. He only played, he played 15 games last season. Oh, wow. I'm around with that stuff no more, man. <laughs> no, they they don't they don't want n- no negative press a- about beating women or anything like that, especially after what yep. happened with you know homeboy in t- Texas. So yeah, yep. Somebody need to tell Richard Sherman that too. Oh, but um, yeah, yeah. move it along. <laughs> and uh, you, Aries, go ahead and. Uh, if you can elaborate a little bit more about what's happening down there in stinky town with the old Michael Thomas. Oh yeah. Michael Thomas, uh, foot injury decided to get surgery, uh, in late J- 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 July. So, so it's, it's going to be, um, off next six, to eight weeks. He, they said he, why he didn't get it last year because he played the whole season with it. Mm. And they said, because he wanted to be knowing that was Drew Brees's last year, he wanted to help him and try to get a Super Bowl. So he waited. I remember so him that, that talking a lot. Played them all season. Last year. Yeah. yeah. So he goes from no catch, Thomas, to out my foot hurt, Thomas. 
Well, I'm also, but there are room, uh, rumors, man, that he's having an issue with the uh, with 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 the coach and the whole squad as far as they're describing it as a a, a bad marriage and a divorce uh, is expected. Um, he can he can kick rocks. I don't care. <laughs> he, ain't that, he ain't that good anyway. <laughs> And but they owe him though, so they're gonna keep him because they have to pay. Mr. Slant, Slant yeah. Thomas, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Michael Slant Thomas, yeah. So I hear like, yeah, there's trouble in paradise. So um, yeah, we we all know how petty uh, their coach is. So um, petty, 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 petty. So woo, that should be interesting. But it sounds like a them problem, not our problem. Nope. And I hope the turmoil stays because that's. Uh, it's good news for us. Exactly, exactly. All right. Uh, anything else around the league you guys think we should bring up? We mm, haven't heard anything else. All right. All right. And all right, let's move it along. Let's go ahead and talk about this Friday, man. This is it. We've been waiting. And now we actually get to see something on the field against another team with our new coach, our pickups. A post Julio, you know, and the biggest thing is Mr. Jones is coming back to town. Will he and Matt shake hands? Will they show each other love? Or will it be some, uh, you know, some ill will? I mean, I know they won't say anything to each other, but you think they'll, you know, say something? And They should. I mean, they've been teammates they for 10 years. have a lot of memories together, man. A lot yeah. Of- I don't want to want talks and. I mean, I, but you heard that you know Arthur Blank said that he was disappointed because Julio didn't even call him to talk to him or, or anything. Man, he just let the agent. Mm-hmm. Do it. You know, well, Arthur's yeah. gonna butt hurt about this. You know, if they if they would have cut his ass, they would have did through the agent too. So I, I don't get too all. I don't get too misty about that stuff. This is this. I, I know, but, th- but that relationship was a little different, though. You know. You know, I, Arthur really he felt about him the way he felt about uh, Vic when Mike Vic was here. How he used to stronghold him and hold out in camp for more money. So he's about <laughs> <laughs> well, it'll be interesting, man. You know, you know, fan base is kind of divided on it anyway, so uh, it will be interesting to see. And we also have um, so we'll have Julio back, and uh, our coach will have his previous team back. So. Well, facing his his previous team, so it, he knows them, so that can be a, a plus for us. But you know, yeah, but, but they know him too. Yep. Do y'all think who? Since this is the first preseason game, you think who? Hell no! no. <laughs> Before you finish, he ain't gonna <laughs> put on. A- he might. He might go out there for a series. Yeah, just, just a series. Yeah, I one. think so too. So, I, I know they do try to. At least have some game time action a little bit. Yeah, he might come out there for one series and that's it. Yeah, they. I, I think they have to put him out there once because you know he's he's Julio to us, but for them, you know, he's still their new pickup, so he ain't getting away with what he did here with under um, under Quinn. So I I think you're right. I think it'll be one series at least. We'll definitely see him out there. So it should be interesting, man. But. Uh, what do y'all think? <laughs> y'all think we're gonna have a good showing though against them? You know that that this is a you know it's a pretty big preseason game. Um, it's to it's to give us a good a good chance to to look at the second and third string. Yeah, I mean if that's what you're talking about, because I I don't see nobody on the on the starting roster playing except for like Pitts. Pitts, yeah, I would definitely want to see Pitts. Still, you know. And uh, well, Matt's playing too, though, right? Uh, he has to. Yeah, I, I think I think he'll play for a series or two. Okay. But uh, cool, you fellas watching, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, actually, I won't be able to watch until the n- Saturday because that's when it airs f- for me out here. So. Okay. Cool. Well, um. Hey Hoop, if you're around, you you guys want to do a um, whoever's available, y'all want to do like a post reaction show. That would be fr- they play Friday. Mm-hmm. 
And then yeah, I have to see, be just for you know, it won't it won't air for me until t- 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 ten o'clock on f- Friday night. Why don't you watch it on Facebook? Uh, it <laughs> nah, I'm tired of that Facebook. I'm tired of hearing that dude complain. I hear you. So, I about you. And, and plus. And plus, it's their preseason game, so so I can watch them. I just won't be watching when they air, but they'll because NFL Network is going to air all the preseason games. I just have to catch it when they do come on. So, all right, that's cool. Well, we'll play it by ear if we, if we can. You know, one or two of us or whatever, we'll we'll try to do a uh, a post show reaction show, and if not, we'll do just our regular podcast after the game uh, next Tuesday. Just to talk about it a little bit, so you know, and see what we talk about what we saw. But uh, all right, guys. Well, if that is it, I want to thank everybody for checking us out here at the What's Up Falcons podcast. Thank y'all for hanging in there with us. Keep following us on Twitter, and definitely check us out on YouTube now. You know, and uh, also hit us up at. Uh, our text line, which is uh, what's the text line? Uh, Damn it, seven seven oh seven oh two six eight oh five five five. It's on the screen. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and don't forget to check us out at um, Armchair All American as well. And uh, fellas, do you have any closing remarks before we wrap this up? Um, hoping Oliver improves. I don't want to repeat the last season because I'm 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 gonna treat him like everybody else. I, I'm uh, I have low expectations. <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> low expectations. I did I did hear on one of the other podcasts I listened to pound for pound and they were saying that you know he was trying <laughs> like that. They say he was trying. But he, they didn't really impress them that much because they went to one of the uh, uh, the open day practices, the open practices. So, but we'll see. Well, I'll, this is definitely his last shot, I would think. Don't forget about Hard Knock too. Hard Knock starts, I think, tonight. Or oh, tomorrow night, something like that. Oh, cool. yeah. All right, yeah, definitely oh, Hard Knock. Okay, you go match now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Take it out. Oh, before we go, do y'all guys see Suicide Squad yet? No, no I'll probably I have watch. Not- I'll watch that th- this weekend because on HBO it's on HBO Max. So, right. What you think, and, Rob? Say what? What I think? What you think about it? Did yeah. you see the first one? Yes. This is how it's supposed to have been done. Oh, this okay. movie is fucking awesome. I highly recommend it, man. It's oh, well, it's. Dang, it that's, that's what that's what I've heard. That's what I, I've, heard. I, I've heard good reviews about it. It delivers, man. Great story, great yeah, action. I gotta get off Twitter. There's always somebody hating on everything. I <laughs> yeah, say, you, uh, people hate for a living, so you know exactly. Yeah, that's what they do twenty four seven. It's just hate. And yeah, man, I, I highly people recommend people debating it. like Space Jam. Like it's for freaking kids, dude. But right. anyway, but no, I highly recommend the, the Suicide Squad. I've, I've watched it twice, and the movie's two hours and twelve minutes, so I've watched it twice. And didn't get bored at all, man. But I thought they did it right. It did. It had a bad oh. box office showing, but I blame that most of that on COVID. And and for a lot of people who don't know anything about them, you know, they're just like, "What is this?" But I think it's still a good movie to watch. My wife didn't know anything about comic books or Suicide Squad, and she liked it too. It was entertaining. Okay. Yeah, it's entertaining, but it is. It's not for the weak at heart. So it's rated R for mm-hmm. a reason. All right. <laughs> they don't hold nothing back. That's all I'm saying. But let us know, yeah. too, what y'all think about that movie. Y'all, if y'all like that, what y'all think about Suicide Squad? If you saw it on HBO Max, man, uh, I think it's definitely worth the watch. But, yeah, I'll uh, probably watch that, watch that here in the next couple of days. I'm just trying to catch up on, on, on my shows that I, that, that I watch on Hulu. So. I hear you, man. I hear you. I got so many shows, man. It's hard to catch up on all this stuff. But you know, it's a great time to be a nerd, I guess, and, <laughs> and to watch TV. Oh yeah, I have I have them all. I got HBO Max and yep. uh, Disney Plus and Stars and yep. yeah, if you if you're not watching the Book of Two and Raising Canaan uh, uh, of of p- p- power, definitely check that out. I saw the trailers <laughs> for that. I saw the, I never was a fan of the show Power anyway, but um, 
Canaan, raising Canaan is a lot better than power was. It said it's, it's right? Yeah. Okay. I'll so you know it. how. So you. So if you if you've seen power, you know who Canaan is. You know what, how he turns out. This is the origin story of how he became who he was. Okay. All so, right. are you power fans out there? And Reese is telling you to check it out. All right, fellas. If that is it, I will see y'all next week. All right. Peace. 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 Pe